Hey there, this is the Penny on Your Thoughts podcast, and I am your host, Penny Chason. I'm a board certified hypnotist, intuitive, and experiencer. This podcast is about tapping into your subconscious to create a more aligned and abundant life. By leveraging our subconscious, we can master our thoughts, frequency, and vibration. Fusing the conscious, subconscious, and our consciousness is the science of expansion and soul satisfaction. Each week, I'll share in-depth interviews or solo episodes. This podcast was created to share how you have the power to create infinite potential within you. It's my intention that you find this podcast empowering, inspiring, and full of possibility. Now grab your favorite beverage and let's go. I'm curious, what is your threshold? What is it going to take for you to fully step into whatever it is that you want, be it go into business for yourself, be it to pursue a hobby, a passion that is important to you, to walk away from a relationship that leaves you feeling depleted and devalued, to speak up. What is your threshold to finally deciding that it's time to do what you want to do with your life? And you may already be doing what you want to do with your life, but maybe there are self-imposed limits. Maybe there is a glass ceiling there. Perhaps you're filtering yourself, you're filtering your message, you're watering down, diluting what it is that you really want to do in the world. So what is your threshold? What has to happen for you to say yes? What has to happen for you to let go of any limiting frameworks or beliefs that you have around what will make you happy. Because this is interesting that we can have stories around what we believe will make us happy. And it is actually our protective part in our mind coming out to play to keep us from truly going all out for what it is that we want. The reason why I ask what is your threshold is it because until something happens that we decide no more, we will continue to operate in our old way of being. We will continue to accept the limiting stories, the limiting beliefs, and they become these huge blind spots for you. And you don't realize it because what it is, is it is a subconscious rationalization to not do the thing that you want most. And sometimes this comes through attachment. It can be about If you are a business owner, and I'm going to speak specifically to online business owners, but this could be your B2B business, it could be corporate, it could have to do with your career, whatever profession it is that you're in. Maybe there's this goal that you've always had and you're allowing yourself to talk yourself out of it. You are rationalizing yourself out of it. And once we hit a moment of decision, decide means to to cut off. We cut off that old way of thinking and we step into the new way of thinking. Once you decide, 
things change. Once you decide, you can step into that new identity. Have you ever found yourself leaning into something that you really want to do? Something that feels purposeful to you, it feels aligned. And as you get started, you begin to notice that you have all of these thoughts that come up that question whether or not you're good enough, you're smart enough, will it work, won't it work? What will people around you think of you? Does that happen to you? It happens for a lot of my clients, even my very successful clients. It's a part of our human experience. But I want you to know you can tame that inner critic and step into your limitless confidence. For a limited time, I'm opening up Catalyst. Catalyst is the perfect opportunity for you to optimize your mind with hypnosis so you can live a peaceful, purposeful, and fulfilled life. So if you're ready to lean into who you truly are and not allow the little ego that we all have to talk you out of the very thing that you want, join Catalyst today. Go to pennychason.com forward slash Catalyst. You want to know who you want to be. You want to know what actions you want to take and then decide. It's a powerful word. And for some of us, we say we want things. We say we're going to try to do things. I've been there, done that. We all have. No one's exempt from this. We've gone through the motions and we're like, oh, I really want this. I really want this. I really want this. Wanting something and deciding to have it are two different levels of desire. Deciding is assuming it's yours. It's that setting of your intention, using your will, and going and getting it. Whereas wanting is almost like saying, I really want this. I hope it comes to me. I hope it works out. When you work with clients consistently and you allow yourself to pay attention to the patterns of self-talk and the results that people get. Now, I can say that I've had a sweet spot where for a long time I was in the same coaching container as the clients and I could see what was the outcome of the work that, that we did together. And I use that information to inform my process and to evolve my process into what it is today. And I never would have known to pay attention to this except for my very first hypnosis instructor. We were specifically talking about stop smoking clients, but this applies to every client. He would say that if someone reached out to him and they wanted to stop smoking or they had already booked the session and they come into the office, the easiest thing is to stop them at the phone or the Zoom call if this is an issue. But sometimes they would make it past the phone call and into the office. And before he would get ready to start, he would say, well, are you ready to be a non-smoker? And some of them will go, I'm going to try. He would pull out his checkbook and refund them. Because someone who says, oh, I'll try, or I'm going to try, they do not have self-belief that they can actually do it. And if you think about the use of the word try, I know my parents did this. I ended up doing it with my kids and I wish I had known this because I would not have done it. When we tell our kids, oh, just try. It's okay, just try. It's all right if you can't do it. Just give it a shot. The word try is associated with an assumption of failure. So eliminate the word try from your vocabulary and you know that you are ready for change when you hit the threshold that you decide that you're going to become the person that gets what it is that you want. Decide is the most powerful word when someone decides that something is going to be the way it's going to be. There is an identity shift that takes place. So what is your threshold for deciding to bring into your life 
what it is that you want. What is your threshold for being courageous enough to shuck away the limiting stories, beliefs that are between you and deciding? What is between want and decide? What is between want and decide? That's where you get to pull things apart and create what it is that you want because you deserve what you want. You're worthy of what you want. Now, does that mean that between want and decide is an unworthiness issue? No, it doesn't mean that at all. It could be something else. It could be a story you picked up from your parents that this is not what we do. I had a client once, this has been several years ago. She wanted to write a book. She always wanted to write a book. She was an academic, but she wanted to write a book. And she came to me to work through whatever it was that was keeping her from writing that book. Now, in our process together, we did an abandonment fear. And it was a completely erroneous misperception, but the meaning that the child brain put on it is what did I do? I'm not loved. I'm going to be left all alone. And it was all completely erroneous. It was a total misunderstanding. And that also connected back to the story from the uncle that pe people like us don't successfully sell books. So when the uncle told her, that's not for us, that's for these people over here. Who, who do you think you are to write a book? You're never going to sell a book. That emotional insult, it created an intense emotion inside of her. And that emotion resonated with this experience when she was a kid that was completely erroneous. The meaning that she put on it was completely not true. Um, there was no issue of abandonment. There was no issue around love. But the initial misinterpretation of what was happening around her that was the meaning that her brain put on it. So immediately when her uncle said that, the emotional resonance was a resonance of, I, I, I don't belong. I'm going to be left alone. I'm no longer part of the family. I'm going to be left out. That was how it happened. And when we neutralized that story and the underlying emotion that, that made that story actually stick, she went and she wrote a book. She wrote her book when she decided that she was ready to be an author. She cut all that loose. She let it go. And these simple moments that seemingly have no meaning whatsoever in the big scheme of things can be that thing that's between the I want and I decide. And hypnosis is the fastest way to uncover, neutralize, and eliminate those things. I will catch you next week. I really appreciated having you join me today for this episode of Penny on Your Thoughts. I would really appreciate it if you would take a moment and head over to your favorite podcast platform and leave a positive review about the podcast. It helps me to reach more people to help them to enlighten, elevate, and expand their lives. Be sure to subscribe to the show if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you back here again next week.